How's it going guys? Neo Gino here, and uh, this is my pickups, pickups video from Retro Game Con. Um, it's a really good show, always a good time. Pat that runs it, awesome guy. And this is what I brought back from that convention. <laughs> Starting off Retro Game Con, it was their sixth year. Um, it's held in uh, the On Center in Syracuse, New York. It's a very good convention. Uh, always a good time. A lot of vendors there this year, a lot of good stuff. I picked up a lot of things. Uh, got some really good stuff here. And uh, off one of the uh, vendors there, I made a deal. Well, actually, a trade. I traded uh, a box for a TurboGrafx 16, and I picked up Spawn. Um, in the Demon's Hand for Dreamcast. I heard this is a really good game. And uh, Skull Jagger, complete in box for the Super Nintendo. I actually saw this recently at Digital Press in Jersey. I wanted it, but the manual was messed up. And this is 100% complete, just like that, in really, really nice shape. So I got these for a trade, and I thought it was decent. I also did a trade with the kid that came up to my booth and I uh, was looking for certain titles and I got almost everything he had. This is out of the stuff that he had, this is the stuff I didn't own. So this is the stuff I got. I got Sukadin 3 for PS2. I heard it's a good series. I don't know much about them. I know they're RPGs, so I'll probably never play them, but I got that for almost nothing. And this was something that I wanted to play for a while. Uh, I know it's a decent game. I've played it on Genesis, well, the first one, and that is Strider 2 from Capcom. This is a very good uh, run beat em up game. Uh, the only problem with this that I've played since I played it now is uh, it loads constantly. So if you can get past that, it's a really good game. Another game that I got there, I actually got this off my boy Frank from Forgotten Freshness. I'm actually going to a store this weekend to play in a Magic tournament and check it out. So I got Casper, the 3D Spirit Hunting 3D Challenge based on the hit movie. I haven't played it yet, but I uh, intend to see if it actually is based off the movie. And he gave me a really good deal on this. He always does. And uh, I'm actually curious to see if this is like any of the other versions, like the PS1 version or whatnot. Another game that I got there, actually a couple games I got off one guy that was next to us. It's actually kind of a silly story about them too, but my fault. I got Alicia Dragon, Dragoon. Very good game, very un kind of uncommon. Very good uh, side-scrolling uh, game, platformer-ish. It's almost like a shooter. It's a... Uh, it's, it's definitely a sawed off your game. And I also picked up Grindstormer. My fault on this game, it did not work when I picked it up. I should have tested it. That was my fault. Luckily, my boy Frank, I forgot in French, guy that he knows that he deals with up that way, fixed this for me. So thank you. And um, now I have Grindstormer and Lucio Dragoon. Grindstormer is an awesome shooter. You should definitely check it out. The only problem with it, the tension carts were made pretty poorly. Usually the board is bad in them. It's not the game, it's the board. All you have to do is switch the chip out and uh, you're good to go. Very common game with that, or very common thing with that, that they don't work. So make sure you test yours, unlike stupid me. But it's all right, it's all good now, and that's all that matters to me. Two more games I got off of a buddy of mine, Darren. Uh, he has one of games of collectibles. He's out of uh, Connecticut, I believe. Uh, two games that I've wanted for a while on the Sega Genesis. Uh, two of the higher end games. Um, one is The Punisher. An awesome beat em up, really fun. Uh, there's, there's not much more I can say about it. It's The Punisher. It's, it's just fun. It's a sought after game on the Genesis. No, this does not have the tattoo in it. Um, can't get them all, but I'm not going to spend another $200 for a tattoo, personally. I like the game. Uh, another game that I got, this is a side-scroller um, 
platforming beat em up and it's actually based off a TV show back in the day that I loved Gargoyles this is a really fun game uh, definitely another sought after game um, especially in my time era of living because I watched this as a kid this was a very fun show and uh, this is actually a really fun game it is pretty hard and it gets even harder as it progresses another guy that was there and a very good buddy of mine now his name is Dan Ungar and uh, I bought quite a few things off of him one thing I got off him was this uh, Sega Saturn game I've been going after Saturn pretty extensively lately actually mainly a lot of Genesis stuff uh, Sega stuff I mean Genesis Saturn Sega CD I've been going after pretty pretty much and this is Golden Axe The Duel I have not played this yet. I do not know how it plays. I know it's a fighter. I know people don't like it, but uh, I like fighting games and I like Golden Axe, so I am actually interested on playing this game. So I will be trying this out very shortly here. Maybe I'll do a video of me playing it for the first time just to see how it is. And uh, he gave me an awesome deal on this. He also gave me an awesome deal on the rest of this stuff. And all the rest of this is from him as well. This. These are all TurboGrafx-16 games. To start them off, I got these all off Dan. He gave me a ridiculous deal on all this shit. And uh, definitely, definitely glad to add a lot of these because you don't really see these at all anymore. Fantasy Zone, it's a shooter. Um, decent game. Uh, China Warrior. Not that good of a game, but not horrible. Uh, if I remember, it's like a side-scrolling beat-em-up, or it's a fighter. I forget which one it is, but it's. I know it's not that great. Next is TV Sports Hockey. Never played it. I imagine it's like every other hockey game. Uh, I'll be checking that out. Super Volleyball. Never played this one either. I'll be obviously trying this out as well. A lot of these I've never played. Uh, a lot of these I probably never will play, like this one, Kings of the Casino. Yeah, Kings of the Casino. I'm sure we all understand that. Pac-Land, I've played Pac-Land on NES. Not too good. Uh, probably just as good as this one. Maybe a little bit better this one is, but... Another game I probably will never play. Power Golf, because the only golf game I want to play is on my Neo Geo. But Power Golf. Um, this game I might actually try out. It's considerably a Zelda clone. It's called Newtopia. And I probably will check this out. Uh, it's a sought after game for the system. And it is like a Zelda game. This game I have played since I've gotten this. This game is a lot of fun. This is right up my alley. This is why Turbo Graphics and PC Engine is so good. Shooters. Shooters. This is Dead Moon. This game is actually a lot of fun. Um, it's a shooter, um, shooter, shoot 'em up as people like to call them. To me, they're shooters, original shooters. No, not Call of Duty. This is a real shooter. Um, you're a spaceship and you're trying to save the world, like always. And it's a uh, nightmarish, as you would say. Uh, a lot of things happening in it. It's it's still a really good game. And yeah, I got all of these and this of Mr. Dan Ungar and Best Buds and all the other people that were there with him at his stand awesome people, check them out and some of the last things that I got at the convention oh, also off of Frank I got some magic cards uh, I'm sure no one really cares about magic except me on this channel but next I got uh, the link, the rest there the rest came from the Lake Brothers, except for one thing. Of uh, Johnny, I did a trade for a couple things, and I got this Mast Rider. Uh, I've never seen it before. I know it's really not that expensive, but a game I've never seen before, so I picked it up. Uh, I don't know much about it besides it's uh, like an FMV game, uh, like a true video, point and click, I believe. Uh, I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll try it out one of these days. Um, but for some of the bigger stuff, I actually got off his brother Chris, 
and we did a little bit of a trade, a little bit of uh, cash for this one. And this is Saturn Bomberman. One game I'm definitely glad to add to my collection. Uh, from what I understand, this is the best way to play Bomberman. Uh, if you have friends, if you have friends and you have extra controllers for the Saturn, and you have this, the Saturn multi-tap that I got off my boy Carlson. And uh, he does all the import stuff at, uh, let's sit down, all the import stuff at conventions. He's an awesome dude. He knows his shit. I got this. I saw you had this. I had to have this with this. They go together. They're needed. And uh, he's an awesome dude. Check him out. And uh, But if you have 10 friends or 9 friends and you have that and this, this is the best experience of Bomberman you'll ever have, from what I understand. Um, this is definitely an uncommon game for the system. 100% complete. It's really nice inside. Um, I love Bomberman games. They're a lot of fun. I enjoy them. I know some people, it's just not their thing. But uh, I enjoy them. And that is the best version that I've been told. And my last pickup that I got there was also off Chris as well. The Lake Boys sure do always have the goods at that convention, along with some other people, but this this year they got a lot of my stuff. I did a, he gave me an awesome, awesome deal on this. Uh, it's a game I probably won't play, but I probably will just because I have it and the price of it and the rarity of it and what it is. I will definitely play it, just check it out. And that is Panzer Dragoon Saga. I now have all three of them. I, I The only one I do not have is Orta, but that's not that hard to get. Uh, this is 100% complete. Inside it has the reg card. And all the discs in the cases. Uh, super nice, super mint can't ask for a better copy honestly um he gave me an awesome deal i obviously had to talk him down pretty heavily but that is as most people know grimsy and all them they call me jew gene jewish gene for a reason and i'm not even jewish that's hilarious but um yeah i'm definitely glad to add this to my collection uh these are two of the hardest saturn games to get well not the hardest but these are definitely the top end games of the system right here that I, I picked up this year um i have some of the japanese hard ones that are to get but i'm glad to cross these off the list and uh yeah that's everything i brought back from retro game con 6 up in syracuse uh let me know down below what you like that i got uh let me know if i'm wrong in any of these like i said i haven't played some of them so i really don't know what they are but i will be checking them out and uh, if you were there, let me know how you liked it. Um, I always love that show. That's one of one of the many that I do like. I uh, actually like almost all the shows I do. And that's why I do them. But And if you were there, let me know how your experience was. This is Neo Gino saying keep smashing the buttons. And I'll see you next year probably. Bye.